Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Antland Entertainment's channel. My name is Antland here today with a tutorial, a little quick tutorial on something I found helped me out a lot. Helped me out a lot when I'm doing rooms and room templates. So it's a room template pretty much. And let's jump right into it, you know? You know? So, to make a room template, and I'm just going to tell you the reason I came up with this because that's the old way I used to do it. I used to give me like a reference photo and set it up here. And then, I, you know, I draw my lines and go there, go from here to there and there to there and there to there and there to there and there to there. And, you know, I used to draw a lot of lines on there. But what I do now is and i hope this guy i hope this is helpful to you guys let me know in the comment section below so i can show you more so all right you're gonna go to your what's this oh draw shape tool you're gonna go to the square you just draw a nice little square rectangle you see how, see how nice and blue and sexy that rectangle is Ooh, that rectangle is so sexy Ooh. so all right once you got your rectangle right there you're going to go ahead and go to add points to it. And you're going to go just go ahead and make, you're going to make, you're going to connect pretty much all the outside layers together. You want to create an outside layer. All right. So voila, voila, voila. And then what you want to do next is connect them. Ooh, you hear that click? Like buckle your seatbelt. Make sure you buckle your seatbelt. Ooh, make sure you got that seatbelt buckle. All my seat bills buckle. Now from there we're gonna go to create shape tool. Cause if we was to look at it now, it's not a shape. Only shape is that rectangle shape I created. Now we gotta make these extra lines I made a shape. So we're gonna go to create shape tool. Yeah. Yeah, baby, we're gonna go to that create shape tool, you know what I'm saying, man? I go ahead and select on that. Boom, hit that space bar, select on that. If you notice how this one blow it up blew up I don't know why I did that but and I hit space and it automatically filled in you know but these you see I was just highlighting that certain area it's not gonna automatically fill in but we still gonna have to create a shape anyway we're just gonna fill them in later create that shape uh I just noticed something I forgot the bottom can't forget the bottom <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> all right Go ahead and create a shape down there. Boom. All right, so we got our shapes created. Which pretty much what that means is you got your your outline. You know what I'm saying? Your outline painted. Pretty much. You got your outline pre painted. Your stroke is gonna show. You know what I'm saying? Your stroke is gonna show. That's what she said. All right, so we go ahead and fill them in. Won't fill that wall up. I'm gonna leave that white. Cause um. That's a ceiling, you know what I'm saying? Who paints their ceiling? I don't know nobody who paints their ceiling. We go ahead and even these lines up. And if you look right, you see how this is like a stair step. Boom, boom. You know it's not even. You know, just go ahead and keep going over until it's lined up. Then we got this one at the top. You have to line up. Just hold the shift key and you can just go up until it lines up. <laughs> or you go ahead and just select on the grid and just you know what I'm saying, just move it over until the the grid are pretty much straightening out for you. Helps you um, it helps keep you in line pretty much. All right, Control G is to get the grid up, and Control G is to take the grid away. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so we pretty much all finished. Let's go ahead and Control Review that. So we got our room, nice, beautiful, blue, baby blue, powder blue walls. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a door so we can get the real effect of this. Oh no, let's go back. We're gonna control Z. We're gonna create that point. And then we're gonna work off of that. We're gonna create that door. Boom. Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect that. You, know, you hear that the seatbelt buckle? That's when you know you connect it. So from there we go ahead and add create a shape. Hit that space bar, boom. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and we know we're gonna change the shape and color of that door to brown. 
And what do doors have? Doorknobs. So let's get us a doorknob. What color are doorknobs really? Pink. Let's do a pink doorknob. The effective doorknob. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at that doorknob. Yeah, nice and sexy. <clears throat> sexy pink doorknob. Ooh, yeah, look at that doorknob. So we got our door. We got our door right there. Or if you want to, you can make it like a door opening. You know, it ain't necessarily got to be a door or whatever. But this is just for illustration purposes only. So, all right. So from there, you can go ahead and select which wall you want to move. So I want to move this back wall, create like a depth of field of depth. So I can go ahead and just grab it at whichever point I want to grab it at. And just go ahead and you know review that. See how that looks. See, you can make the room look far back away, or you come back up. You can move it over right there. So right there, you know, you maybe you could throw like a couple windows over there. You know, throw you a ceiling fan up or something, some ceiling tile up or something. Uh, you go ahead and move it over there. You can shrink it. Whatever field of depth you want to do, you want to go up. You want to go, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can pretty much do what you want to. You know, do what you want to do. Do it like that. You know, so let's go ahead and just see what we got here. Um. You know, just go ahead and blast it up. You know, you can go down. So just let's just see how we looking on the enemy side. So let's do like this. We're gonna kind of do a rolling shot. <clears throat> let's go over to let's take this up to about 60. That should be slow enough. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and roll over. Whoop. See what we got here. Oh, yeah, so, all right, we're going to go ahead and export that. I mean, it's pretty simple. This, the reason I started doing this because, you know, you don't really want to spend a lot of time uh, making rooms. And, you know, it, if you can find, the thing with animation is it takes up so much time. You're sitting in a, a chair, your butt's starting to hurt. Um, you're falling asleep. You know, you want to save as much time as you can. So, uh, well, let's delete that. And, uh you know what let's go ahead and take this off Boom. and just go back there and see if we got our rolling shot so that's 60 let's go ahead and export this change that to 60 and overwrite that one do you want to replace it of course but of course <clears throat> alright so why this is encoding we're gonna go ahead and go to a little animation intermission so in this animation intermission pd peter griffin meets up with squidward from spongebob squarepants <laughs> so what are you supposed to be what are you supposed to be i'm a squid your nose looks funny it looks like a don't say it. No, seriously, it looks like a... Don't say it. But no, seriously, it looks like a... Boy, your chin looks like a... <laughs> maybe we should kiss and hug, and then maybe we can have the whole package. All right, there we go. We got a little room rotation. Look at that. It's amazing right there. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching my video. And I um, hope you check me out next time when I have another video. Uh, post in the comments on what y'all would like to see. Um, like I said, <clears throat> this is just a room template. Um, it's a lot of stuff to learn about this software. You can pretty much do almost anything. You can even create um, 3D looking objects with this, 3D camera rolls, so anything y'all want to see, let me know in the comment section below, and um, I'll see y'all next time.